What a great state we live in. There are loads of things we tend to take for granted here in South Australia, and there's one you've probably never considered. And that's the ability to head into the garden, over to the fruit tree, and pick and enjoy homegrown produce without the fear of finding a fruit fly maggot crawling inside. However, this is being challenged at the moment with fruit fly outbreaks in Adelaide, the Riverland, and even Port Augusta. Thankfully, the Department of Primary Industries and Regions, PERSA, has been quick to react, sending out staff in orange overalls across all the areas impacted by fruit fly to help halt the spread of this seriously invasive pest. And there's plenty we home gardeners can do to help. PERSA's Manager of Plant Health Operations, Nick Seacom, is the ideal person to explain. So it's really important to keep our state fruit fly free. There's around $1.3 billion worth of produce grown in our state every year that could be affected by fruit fly. So we need to support our farmers and make sure we keep fruit fly out. So look at your fruit. If it's blemished, if it's bruised, it might mean that a female fruit fly has come along and stung that fruit. If you see that, it's really important to open it up and have a look. If there's anything wriggling inside, please call our fruit fly hotline on 1300 666 and we can check to make sure it's not fruit fly. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. We're just from PERSA, part of the fruit fly control program. Oh, okay. What's Nick, when the PERSA field staff turn up in their orange overalls, what are they doing? If we have an outbreak of fruit fly, our field teams come in and eradicate the pest. So you'll see our guys in orange overalls, they come in and they pick up fruit off the ground. It's really important to break the life cycle of fruit fly. So if you're home, they'll come and have a talk to you and explain what we have to do. We have to gain access to the backyard so we can do some work. If you're not home, we'll leave a card and that'll explain what's going on as well. So we've got over 500 staff working on fruit fly outbreaks. And then these traps go out as well. By hanging these in trees, we can attract any adult fruit flies to them and they go inside and drown. What should we be doing with all the fruit that falls on the ground and is spoiled? If you have a green bin, put it in there and the council will dispose of it. Please don't compost that fruit at home. We know that home compost heaps don't get up to the temperature we need to kill fruit fly. If you don't have a green bin service, check the fruit fly website and there'll be options there for you. In the winter time, we still have to be vigilant about fruit fly. That's the time to pick up your fruit, clean up your backyard, and we don't have too much excess fruit when fruiting season comes. If you're in a red outbreak area, you can't move fruit from your property. If we stop that movement, we can stop fruit fly from spreading and eradicate the pest. Persa can't do it alone. We need to work together to eradicate fruit fly. If you spot fruit fly or any unusual insect in your garden or find maggots in your fruit, it's vital that you contact PERSA on the Fruit Fly hotline on 1300 666 010. And the Fruit Fly website has loads of great information on how you can help as well. Remember, we all have a part to play in protecting South Australia from fruit fly.